So, 14 times 13. Okay? So, you have to multiply 14 2 times for us uh, to the breakdown of 13, which is 10 plus 3. Okay. So, mas madali mo multiply sa 10. Kaya natin bine break down. Okay. By 10. Alright. So, get the product of 14 times 10 will give you 140. And 14 times 3 will give you... Okay. That is 42. So, on your mind, add the two partial product. 140 plus 42 will give you... What? 182. Ayan. So, mas mabilis mag-compute sa mind. Tama? Pag you know the technique. Okay. Let's, can you try this one? Alright. So, I'll give you one minute to answer. Find the product of 14 and 12 mentally. Okay. Tinan nga. Alright, so may nakita na akong tamang sagot. Put your answers on our chat box. Very good. Ayan. Alam na nilang i-apply yung distributive property. Okay. Okay, very good. So let's check. So 14 times 12 equals... So, again, we have to multiply 14 two times by the breakdown of 12, which is 10 plus 2, or 10 and 2. Okay, then get the product. 14 times 10 is 140. On your mind, 14 times 2 will give you 28. Then add the 2, 140. 140 plus 28 will give you 168. Okay, very good. O yan, daming tumamang sagot. Very good. Okay, let's try another one. How about the product of 15 and 13? Okay, you are given one minute. Okay, if you have your answer already, you can put it on our chat box. Okay, mentally yan, di kagamit ng di magko-compute. Sa mind lang magko-compute. Okay, you are given one minute. Ayan, madami na ako nakikita ang tamang sagot sa chat box. Okay, very good. Sige, you have enough time for to compute it on your mind. Okay, very good. Let's see. So, 15 times 13. Again, multiply it uh, two times. The breakdown of 13 by 15. Okay, breakdown on 13 is 10 and 3. Multiply 15 times 10 will give you 150. And 15 times 3 will give you 45. So add the two partial product, 150 plus 45 on your mind. You have 195. Very good. Well, very good sa mga nakasagot ng tama. Ang dami. Okay, how about this one? The product of 17 and 11. Again, you are given one minute to answer. Ayan. May nakita na ako naglagay sa chat box. Correct? Okay, very good. Okay. Sige, compute for the answer.
Okay, so let's see if you get the correct answer. Tingnan natin. So, 17 times 11. Alright. So, 17. We have to break down 11 as 10. Plus 1 or Okay. So, we have to multiply 17 times 10. And 17 times 1. Okay. So, 17 times 10 will give you 170. And 17 times 1 will give you 17. On your mind, add the two partial product. 170 plus 17 will give you 187. Okay, that is the answer. Okay, very good. Congratulations sa mga nakakasunod. Okay, very good. Lesson 3. Solving routine and non-routine word problems involving multiplication of whole numbers including many Okay, including many using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. Okay. What do you mean by um, routine? Okay, when you say routine, you have to use, um, you have to analyze the problem. You have your what is asked, what are given. But when you say non-routine, you have to solve problem in different ways. So, maraming strategies. You can uh, use uh, guess and check. Okay, you can use uh, drawing a diagram. Okay, trial and error. That is non-routine. Okay, I'm gonna give you an example. Okay, so this is an example of a non-routine problem. Okay, example. One minute to answer. You may put your answers in the chat box as long as you have your answer you may write it on the chat box so that uh, makita ko kung tama at mas madali yung um, ang masagutan at kung naintindihan nyo mabuti ayan so may mga answer na ako nakikita correct very good okay tama Okay, so let's see the correct answer. So, 17 times 4. Okay, break down natin yung 10. Uh, yung 17 by 10 and 7. Okay. Multiply it to 4. Okay, on your mind, you have 10 times 4 and 7 times 4. So, 10 times 4 will give you 40. And 7 times 4 will give you 28. So, add the 2, 40 plus 28 on your mind, you have 68. Very good. So, those who got the correct answer, 68, very good. Okay, let's try another one. 25 times 6. Okay, 25 times 6. You are given 1 minute to answer. Okay. Yan. Yan, may mga mabibilis tayo. Correct? Yan, nakikita ko na sa chat box. Mga tamang sagot. Very good. Okay. Ayan, so madami na tamang sagot. Sige, may pwede pang humabol. You are given one minute to answer. Okay, so let's see. We get the correct answer. 25 times 6 okay break down 25 by 20 and 5 so multiply it by 6 20 times 6 and 5 times 6 so let's get the product 20 times 6 is 120 and 5 times 6 is 30 so add the two partial product we have on your mind Meron kayong 150. Okay, correct. Very good. Mga tumaman, dami. Okay. 
Let's try another one. So that's 32 times 5. Again, you are given one minute to answer. Okay, may matutulin tayo. Very good. Di ba mas mabilis when you're multiplying mentally? When you know the technique, it's easy for you to get the answer. Okay, you can find the answers as fast as you can. Okay, very good. Let's see. So, 32 times 5. Okay, again, break down 32 as 30 and 2. So, multiply it by 5. 30 times 5 and 2 times 5. Okay, so get the product. 30 times 5 is 150 or 150. And 2 times 5 is 10. So, on your mind, 150 plus 10, you can get 160. Okay, very good. So, dami nakatama. Okay, very good sa lahat ng mga nakatama ng sagot. Alright. So, let's move on to the lesson 2. Okay. Lesson 2 is multiplying mentally 2 digit by 2 digit numbers. Okay, at this time around, 2 digit by 2 digit. Kanina, 2 digit by 1 digit. Now, 2 digit by 2 digit numbers with product up to 200. Okay, let's see. Okay. Find the product of 16 and 12 mentally. Okay, example, 16 times 12. Yan. So, na naman ang gagawin natin dito? So, at this time around, if you break down natin, ay yung multiplier. Okay. So, C12. Okay. So, what we're going to do is, we have to multiply 16 two times by the breakdown of 12, which is, we break down natin siya as 10 and as 2. So, 16 times 10 and 16 times 2. Get the product of 16 times 10 and 16 times 2. So, 16 times 10 will give you 160 on your mind. And uh, 16 times 2 will give you 32. So, again, what you're going to do with the two partial product, you have to add 160 plus 32. Okay, on your mind will give you 192. Okay, let's have another example. How about find the product of 19 and 10 mentally? Again, when you say mentally, di tayo gagamit ng pencil, di tayo magko-compute. Okay, so 19 times 10. Ayan. So, binibreak down natin yung multiplier. Minumultiply natin ang multiplikan 90, that's 2 times by the breakdown of the multiplier. So that is this, this uh, okay. So, multiply it, breakdown natin sa 10, mas madali sa 10. Okay, since wala na yung 10, breakdown na natin, ang breakdown niya is 0. Okay, so multiply 19 times 10, very simple. Yung kung ano yung multiply kan, mag add ka lang ng 0. So, 19 plus 0 is 190. Okay? And since 19 times 0, any number multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. So, that is 0. So, 190 plus 0 will give you 190. Okay. Another example. Find the product of 14 and 13 mentally. Okay. So, 14 times 13. Okay? So, you have to multiply 14 two times for us uh, to the breakdown of 13, which is 10 plus 3. Okay, example. Joy receives from her mother an amount of 55 pesos as her daily allowance in school. 
She saves five pesos for future expenses. How much does she receive as monthly allowance include, excluding Saturdays and Sundays? How much does she save in a month? Okay, let's analyze the problem. Okay, so let us solve this problem using the four-step plan. Okay, the first one is understand. So know what is as. So what is as in the problem? It is Rosa's monthly allowance. Okay, and oh, there are two questions being asked. Another one is Rosa's monthly savings. Okay, so you know what are being asked in the problem. Let's move on to the given box. So all the numbers in the problems are considered given box. So 55 pesos, her daily allowance, and 5 pesos, her daily savings. Okay, so let us determine the operation to be used. Okay, in the problem, we have to use multiplication. And, of course, you have to write the number sentence. Okay, so, since what is asked is uh, her monthly allowance in a month, excluding Saturday and Sundays. So, hindi kasama ang Saturday and Sundays. So, we have how many days lang? So, week, uh, weekdays lang yung kailangan natin. So, we have... 5 days in a week. So, in a month, there are 5, five days in a week. Okay, so there are 4 weeks in a month. So, you have to multiply 5 times 4. That is 20. So, that is exactly 20 days. So, you have to multiply her allowance. So, that's 55 times 20. And her savings, which is 5 pesos for the second number sentence, multiplied by 20 is equal to N. Okay, the first number sentence is referring to allowance. So 55 pesos or 55 times 20 days is equal to N or 50 times 20 is equal to N. And the other one is 5 pesos times 20 days is equal to N or 5 times 20 is equal to n that is referring to her savings okay okay now you have your number sentence we can show now our solution so 55 times 20 okay is equal to 1,100 pesos that is the monthly allowance of Rosa and with regards to her saving multiply 5 times 20 that is 100 pesos is the savings of Rosa okay check and look back if your answer is correct okay Okay, example of non-routine problem. Any problem, non-routine problems is any complex problem that requires some degree of creativity or originality to solve. Typically, there is no immediate strategy in solving them, but oftentimes it can be solved in multiple ways. Some of these strategies are creating illustrations okay looking for a pattern guessing and checking and making a model okay so let us solve this problem applying those uh, strategies 
Okay. And then let us solve this problem using the four step plan. Example Four person can sit in a square table. How many persons can sit in five square tables placed end to end? Let us solve this problem by drawing a picture. And gagamitin ko strategies dito is drawing a picture. Yan. So, I'll draw a picture as five square table. Okay. So, one, you have to count the square. That's one. Yan. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, place end, end to end. Ayan, magkakadikit daw sila. Alright. So, tingnan natin kailan ang mga kaupo sa magkakadikit na table. Five tables. Okay, so meron tao doon one. May tao doon two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Alright. So simply by drawing. Okay. So simply by drawing at. Um, yeah. So simply by drawing a table. And. Nakita natin, we can able to solve the problem easily. Okay, two corner tables, okay, that is 3 times 2, will give you 6. Ayan, ano yung corner tables? So, this problem easily. Okay, two corner tables, okay, that is 3 times 2, will give you 6. Ayan, ano yung corner tables? So, these are the corner tables. Yan, nasa gilid. So, 2, 1, 12, 6, 7, and 8. So, that is 3 times 2 will give you 6. Ayan. So, ano yung corner? Nasa, ay, yung corner, yung dalawang nasa gilid. So, meron sa gitna ng isa, doon si 1, tsaka si 7, si 2, tsaka si 12, 6, tsaka si 8. So, there are 3. So, simply multiply 3 times 2 will give you 6. So, 3 person can sit in. Now, there are 3 inside tables. Yung K3 at saka K11, yung 4 at saka K10, at 5 at saka K9. Okay, so how many people can be seated? So there are 2. So since there are 3 tables, multiply 2 times 3 will give you 6. Okay, so 2 person can sit in side by side. Okay, so simply, binilang natin, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the answer for the problem is 12 person. Okay, there are 12 person can be seated on a 5 square tables put together side by side. Okay. So let us have a short recap. Okay. So... Remember to multiply mentally two digit by one digit numbers with products up to 200. Follow the following steps. First, solution one, multiply the ones, multiply the tens by the ones, add the two partial products. Solution number two, you can use the distributive property of multiplication. Okay, to multiply mentally two digit by two digit numbers with product up to 200, follow the following steps. Number one, solution one mentally multiply the multiplicand by the ones, mentally multiply the multiplicand by the tens, and mentally add the partial product. Solution number two, you can use the